got these from the co-op. They're individually wrapped. Oh. Unicorns, they're nice. Oh, here's a nice little Poundland haul I got yesterday from Poundland. Um, salt and shake crisps, four packs. Uh, Domestos spray bleach, good value. Shortbread biscuits, a nice little tin as well. Uh, I know this is silly, but I I, mean, I use because I've got such sensitive teeth. I can't cope with normal toothpaste. And three nail polishes. So I mean that's meant for babies. So you know three nail polishes. This one's called peppermint. I've got these before, but they're only a pound. So you know and they're nice colours, nice shades. Sorry if I'm fat sounding down, but I've hardly any sleep. I don't get proper sleep. I keep being woken up all the time by noise from neighbours, and uh, it's just getting me down. So yeah. I've got so many problems in my life to deal with without going into all the details or I don't know how don't know if I'm coming or going. Anyhow this is nice, the unicorns on here. Pretty. Airedale is that? Is that Airedale or Scotty? A Scot Scottish Terrier most likely. But yeah, aren't they nice? These are unicorns on this bag. That's pretty. It reminds me of something old, like an old tapestry or something. You know, like an old fashioned some of those old historical tapestries you see not that I'm really into all that but I like the unicorns the names of these are the peppermint as I've said pink soda for the middle one doesn't look very pink here and pink sherbet for the end one and they're in Poundland for said here we are makeup time Poundland got to open these at some time, the Morrisons ones I got from Morrisons, but these are May 2020 and these are March, so I shall open those first, even though I only got these yesterday and I got those ages ago. I got these from Waitrose, I think they're stopping doing this with this nice packaging. I've never got a large one like this before. It's got a nice scent, this is some chamomile scented toilet tissue so yeah anyhow I think I have showed that before that nice little set that I got I've got quite a few Barbie fashion packs I've got quite a few things in here different things oh, so here's one I put on a dolly this is Marzarelle showing so she's got the bag she's got a, a bag a skirt and a top and sunglasses. S top's got stars on it. And it's got sort of flouncy. Now these skirts, where they've got to fit everybody, they're, they're a bit too big for the regular Barbies and too small for the curvies. So they, they Mattel need to really make less, if, they, if they've got to save money, make less fashion packs to fit or make an equal number, make some to fit curvies and some to fit the rest, and then everyone's happy. As much as um, the old collectors ever are, and uh, this is Ellie, by the way, I've named her Ellie, this dolly, and regular Barbie face, but I've called her Ellie. Um, so yeah, I got tried to do this in my bathroom, but the camera kept running out. Also, I was trying not to breathe in there because of the strong smell of stale cigarette smoke coming in from next door. If anyone didn't know, and they were in my house, as soon as you open the front door, you'd think, oh yeah, a smoker lives in here. And well, I don't smoke, you know, it's, it's terrible. I have to breathe because I get chest trouble. And I have to breathe all that in. And as soon as I open my bedroom door, I can smell it. The smoke is like a chimney in there, and it just, oh... There's always different people in that house. You never know where you are. He's in there at the moment. So when you've got him in there, he's toned down the noise slightly. And I still got woken up very, very early after about an hour's sleep. I was awake all night. And I was woken up after about an hour's sleep by bumping and banging about in there. But 
you get slightly less noise when he's in there on his own, but you get the strong smell of smoke you can hardly breathe for. So, oh, it's terrible. You know, and people might say, oh, well, you'd have to move, but it's anything except expect other people to be considerate because, oh, you mustn't do that. That's interfering with their human rights because we mustn't have their right to be annoying, interfered with, because, oh, well, they're not considerate people. Why should they be considerate when they've never been, never had to be? We can't put pressure on them like that. This is how, you know, I've been made to feel. And all my life I've been told, oh, it's not you that counts, it's other people that count. And, oh, you must always put other people first. This is how I was always treated. And oh, because, you know, everybody does the same. Everybody puts other people first. That's what decent people do. You know, you be, you're considerate. But all I find is that other people, self first, self last, self always. And people I know as well. It's like I'm there as a sounding board to, to listen to their problems. Oh, yeah, she's useful and convenient. We can talk to her. We can't talk to anyone else. And as soon as I'm in need of care and attention and how oh, oh god we can't put up with this and they run for the hills oh no stay away we'll, we'll lay low for a while until you know she's on a, she feels a bit better and then, and then we'll yeah make use of her again well no no i've had enough of it anyway sorry for going on but um first week in february so it's you know it's like a, it's not just a haul with me it's a vlog as well that's all the vlogs have crept in now haven't they so first week in february it's time to have some tea. <laughs> Cheers. Oh dear. It's There's the other things you can get with it. Look, I got it from the entertainer a few weeks back. having the last of the Umaibo Halloween snacks and uh, I liked all the others I haven't had this one yet so we'll see what this one's like I like the packaging on these things <laughs> cute I bought four more of those you know I love those and I should have used this one last week when I was using the Barbie the Barbie bath for his this one's really blue. Right. Oh, well, this awful energy bulb makes it look yellow, but believe me, that is bright blue. It looks green, but it's blue. So annoying. I need a daylight bulb. My friend wouldn't hear of it. Anyhow, I'm having a lovely onsen bar. Lovely on the sun bar. Lovely boy. Lovely on a cold night. Really nice. I'm in a hot bar, on the sun bar, listening. Oh yes, I've always been interested in alchemy, how to turn base metal into gold. Never been done, of course. Philosopher's stone. <laughs> Waitrose, coconut. I'm here in my friend's bathroom and I can smell smoke. There's smoke coming in from the smoking chimney next door. I've got some of this and I've got the smoking chimney that I've got to put up with opposite me. You just can't get away from smoking chimneys. 
This is Ginny's one and my cave aged goat's cheese. Even though my old fish who was over 25 years old died, I've still got the snails to keep going. You know, every time you buy more weed, there's another pond snail. And there's less and less places I can go to now to buy the, the weed. I used to be able to get it from all kinds of pet shops, but now I have to go right out of the way to an aquatic place to um, buy the weed, the snails. I've got some new Barbie fashion packs. I went into the entertainer today and I saw these. Look at that, isn't that cute? Little cat face and a skirt. And this nice one, this would be for um, Sonia, our fashion model, I think. Sonia will look good in that. And uh, my girl here, does she match me? She does look. She matches me. Oh look, we sort of match. She's got a sparkly silver outfit on and I've got my sparkly silver jumper on. Oh, we needed the light on really, didn't we, to see so to show up better. But um, I must have a pink streak in my hair again. I used to have a pink streak in my hair a few years ago. Marzarelle's new outfit <coughs> that I've given her. It's a shame this is white inside. It looks white inside and it sort of looks wrong where it's a different length. But that's, that's her and I've given that to her. And I've got some more Barbie outfits from the entertainer. I've put the other one away because I'm going to give it to Bernadette as I, I did show you with the camera last night, I tried it on, but I think my, um, Sonia can have this one, my, our fashion model, you know Sonia with the, the um, maroon hair, the af slight afro maroon, and um, this I think Marzarelle can have as well because it's got the yellow. I've got some of these from Waitrose, you know, I, I like those, I get a lot of those, I like those. I've got some more of these from the independent health food store. Here's Rana. I've put her top knot up a bit more. Now I, I prefer it when it's flatter but I've pulled it up a bit so it looks more unicornish. She's got a slight bit of yellow in her hair. I don't, I've never seen any green in these dolls hair. I know people say, oh, she's got green. I think they're seeing the yellow and blue together and then of course they're thinking that's green because it looks sort of but she's got lovely soft hair. It's not a bit frizzy. It went frizzy in the front when I pulled her sunglasses off, so I had to take a top knot out while I'm swallowing her hair. These biscuits, I think I couldn't find those. I looked for these yesterday at Waitrose. Couldn't find them anywhere. They're lovely. No sugar. It shows you don't need sugar and things like that. I got some more of these from Lidl. The dark chocolate selection, those are my favourites, they're the ones I like the best. I don't know why that's blanking it out, it's not dark colours. So I've got two. I like those. And from Boots, two Essies and a yellow, a nice yellow Essie. And um, I tried it and it covers in one coat. And it's called, I should do a review on this at some time. I'm not, not until, I should wait until the weather's a bit more summery though. This is called Check for Baggage check for baggage. Uh, and it's, has we got the usual wide SC brush that we get over here? Yes we have. I won't show all that now there because I'm not doing a nail polish review at the moment. Oh. And this one's called, I can't make out what this one's called, so, oh, all things no no no. I don't know what that means. If that's some new kind of buzz phrase, naught, 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 I'm not au fait with everything that, that goes on. I don't even know what XOXO means. <laughs> I don't go in for all that. I've got some more of this Amarula Cream Liqueur. Out. Rude Health Granola. The Ultimate Organic. I don't think it was granola I got before when I had one of these with this mouth on. I think it was just an ordinary muesli. So that from Waitrose. This from the Independent Health Food Store, which is the only place that still sells it. You know, my organic acacia honey. I love that. From Waitrose. 
oaten biscuits. They look very nice. I got this last week and didn't really show it. I have not tried it yet from Waitrose. Peat root tea. I'm hoping that's going to be nice. From Lidl. Well, I got these from you know I can only get these from Lidl that's the only place I've ever seen that sells them I've got some of these as well dark chocolate rice cakes that's got an owl on there <laughs> cute those are quite nice from Waitrose cayenne pepper from the independent health food store gluten free superseded oat cakes very nice and also this from the independent health food store lentil and red pepper soup I got some for my friend I've never actually tried it myself and <coughs> the mayonnaise was on special offer at Waitrose at the moment oh <coughs> and to uh, prove that we're not for children here if I can open my amarula cream liqueur not for kiddies. I'm going to take a swig. Just in case YouTube sees a dolly and says, oh, that's obviously a video made for kids and we're going to market as such. And no, she won't be able to change it back because we've decreed it's made for kids. Well, it isn't. It isn't. Do I have to... um? Make a rude gesture as well. Mind you, kids make more of those than anyone, I do believe. But, um, these are quite nice as well. These are got from Poundland. And you've seen this, but I don't know if you've seen it on here. It's time to have some tea. Yes, but we're still not kids, though. We're just an adult who likes childish things. Never throw away childish things. I used to have some nice antiques. And I have got burgled ones. I had some lovely Chinese, small little Chinese vases with dragons on. Because I used to love things like that. And I was so distraught. don't even want to talk about it now. I shouldn't. It's only because they were mentioning things like that on the radio. It brought it back to me. It's a horrible, horrible feeling. It makes you paranoid forevermore these people they do, and the police don't take anything seriously they don't realize what they do to people these well they don't care just a drug money for one evening to some, some of those that's what the police said at the time oh it's probably some kid a, a druggy you wanted that's what the police said they didn't even bother to take the fingerprints that was left behind because they the, the idiots left behind the hammer that they'd used to smash the window in the kitchen because i've They'd have a bit of a job now. I've taken my steps, but I won't go into that. That's, that's a while back anyway. I shouldn't have been talking about it. Let, oh, I'm a bit worried to order any of this at the moment. These, um, my lovely onsen bars, international orders. What with this coronavirus everywhere? It's in Japan now. Oh, God, I hope that, you know, people I like, that I follow over there, like Venus, Angelic, and, um, hiding in my room you know Daniel I hope they're going to be okay and ramble at with his lovely walking videos I'm worried about some of the my favorite youtubers that I watch that's in Japan and and also the Japanese country as a whole and and you know China I mean they shouldn't have been I, people have said oh well China caused it in the first place by their treatment of animals and um, those poor animals and that, that poor bats taking them home to kill them and that is disgraceful you know, I don't know why the animal rights people aren't up in arms talking about this, but I think China's doing everything right to try and contain this now. They're, this country is being ridiculous, saying to people, come home, yes, yeah, spread it all over here. The Chinese government's doing the right thing. They're trying to contain it. And um, it's done a bit of good, apparently, but of course it's happening in other countries now. It's, oh God, it's a worry, especially when you're someone full of anxiety like you know you've got terrible anxiety state and you worry about everything anyway then this is making it even worse oh come on let's uh, have a look at her again oh i ought to have my sparkly jumper on still i haven't no i think i'm just, i don't think i'll bother to name these dolls i'll just keep them the names this is little little miss bliss isn't it no it's not this is natalia this is natalia 
there's a <coughs> there's Naomi. Um, <coughs> I I don't think because I've got a doll called Naomi, and um, I wasn't going to name them, but I don't know. I might. I don't know yet. I don't know. This is Becky. Someone. She's very pretty. Very very pretty. Look at that face. And this looks more like the actual lady. That so she yeah, they're all very pretty, but she, yeah, she's very very nice. At least that likeness is more accurate. Did I ever show? There's our Kiona in her Hello Kitty. But did I show Sonia? Sonia in her lovely dress that she's going to have this one because I do believe that's going to suit her because um, Sonia's our top model. I might try it on now to see what it looks like on her while I'm here. Right, I think I must my my views on this dress. Disappointing. The frill doesn't lay flat there. It sticks right out so you can see like the white background. So I think I'm going to have to try and do something to like put a stitch in there or something to make it sort of lay flat so it looks a bit better it looks really cheap the sunglasses do not go with the dress at all and the bangle looks really cheap gray plastic it's meant to be silver but obviously you can see it's not why can't they make them metallic like this gold one you know they do make silver metallic bangles i've got quite a few but they weren't barbie ones they came from china but they mattel have made metallic bangles or even a metallic maroon one would have looked better or a m metallic mauve would have gone with this something like the dress but yeah it's disappointing it doesn't look as nice as i thought it sticks up too much there but that just does should lay flatter hang <coughs> oh excuse me oh dear <coughs> oh I think I can hear voices. I think I'm ready to be received. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, shall we? bad as it was, but it's going to get worse apparently. The weather's so bad, I didn't have nerve to come out, unless I brought a dolly with me, so Ebony came with me to my friend's house, because I didn't, <laughs> I felt more confident walking about in it, as long as I had a dolly with me, because <laughs> of my anxiety, so here she is. Shoes match. Oh, it's blustery out there tonight. It's dreadful. It's a wild and windy night. Back to front, I know, but look, an old Summerfield bag that my rubbish is going out in. <laughs> rubbish is pink and <laughs> unicorn wrappers and rose wrappers from Japan. But, um, yeah, old Summerfield bag. It's that one with a hole in, so I'm not going to keep it as a collector's item. <laughs> so, yeah, so I wish we still had Summerfield. I used to love Summerfield. They had a lovely Robert Dias shop inside as well. So, yeah. <laughs>